Hey everybody, uh, Bose here, and I am doing a, another small tutorial today. Uh, today we're going to be covering a science victory tutorial. I was trying to do the like whole Civ 6 and 6 minutes thing. It's too hard to condense even quick tips into 6 minutes. So we're just doing little light tutorials uh, before we do like full-fledged ones. So today, today is science. Uh, this is more specifically on how to win science victories uh, in under 200 turns on Deity. Um, this will give you a bunch of pointers. Uh, if you haven't watched it, I did a domination tutorial. A little bit ago, you can find that here, uh, mostly talking about basic tips for winning domination under 200 turns on, on deity. Uh, and this one here talks, we go through a bunch of things like uh, like city-states, um, adjacencies, great people, wonders, things along those lines, uh, in order to hopefully allow you to win science victories in under 200 turns uh, on deity. Um, Additionally, if you don't know, I stream every Wednesday through Saturday, 12 to 4 p.m. Pacific time on twitch.tv slash where I stream all of the all of the videos that you see on here, all of my all of my YouTube videos uh, that are edited. Those are all coming from my live stream. Um, I also have a Discord and a Twitter if you'd like to, to hang out there. Um, and uh, additionally, um, I have been lately been streaming some other content outside of Civ on 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 stream. Sometimes on Mondays, sometimes on Tuesdays. It's been uh, City Skylines, uh, but I'm going to start branching out into other games as well. I'm going to throw in some Old World in there. And eventually when Humankind comes out, that's going to be a, a staple of the stream. But uh, regardless, here is a bunch of tips for hopefully allowing you to win science victories in under 200 turns on uh, Deity. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about here when it comes to uh, winning a science victory is the adjacencies on your campuses. Um, and I've talked about it before previously in, in other episodes of, you know, how to how to win on deities, tips for, for winning on deity and things along those lines. But uh, for science victory, it is pretty important. Uh, when I'm talking about adjacencies, if you don't know what they are, um, your districts, whether they are, you know, campuses, holy sites, theater squares, etc., um, they gain bonuses based off of being something adjacent to something on the map uh, so as you can see here for campuses uh, they get so plus one science from each adjacent mountain tile uh, rainfor two rainforest tiles every two districts plus two science from a great barrier reef or a fissure a reef or from pamakale um, and uh, that applies to a lot of other things too, like holy sites get adjacencies from mountains and, and uh, so on and so forth. But regardless, for campuses, you want to get good adjacencies. And as you can see here, we're getting plus four extra science just from placing our campus right here because we have plus two science from the geothermal fissure, which is this right here, as I mentioned before, and plus two science from these two mountain tiles around. And the reason why this is important um, is, you know, uh, you could just place your campus like right here if you wanted to right you get no adjacencies you'll still have your campus you'll get plus one science great scientist point per turn you'll get the uh the extra science based off of citizen yields and things along those lines but as you go down through the game this is where policy cards start to come into play that really affect how much science you're going to be getting based off of your adjacencies so as you can see here the first one that will talk that's that's that is important is natural philosophy and what natural philosophy does it gives you plus 100 percent campus district adjacency bonuses um that's pretty huge because that turns this plus four into a plus eight campus so that means just from having the campus alone you're getting plus eight extra science just from running this policy card then eventually you can get to the point where you can run natural or sorry rationalism which as you can see here you gain extra science from buildings in the campuses you get plus 50 percent extra science if your pop is 15 or higher and plus 50 percent if the district has at least a plus four adjacency bonus uh in the game and this is another reason why adjacency bonuses are important this has at least plus four so once you're able to run rationalism which i keep missing here once you're able to run rationalism you get plus 50 percent extra science from your buildings inside your campus, which are your library, your university, and your research lab, unless you're playing a different uh, civilization. With thinking about this, with the amount of adjacencies and having high adjacencies, you can get to a point where you have, if you have plus four, plus five, plus six, you know, plus, plus seven, plus eight campuses along those lines. If you have like a plus four campus minimum, you can eventually turn those into plus eights. And if you have, you know, ten, like I, I recommend between around 10 to 15 cities in a game. If you have, we'll just say a minimum of 10 cities, you have 10 cities that all have plus four cam uh, campus adjacency bonuses. You're just gaining plus 40 science just from that. Not even, not even taking into account from buildings, from modifiers, from anything along those lines. And then you plug in uh natural philosophy you know that gives you 80 extra science just from having 
high adjacency. Every, if every single, you know, if you're taking into account every single one of your cities has a plus four adjacent campus, that's all 10 cities. And then eventually you can get to the point where you are gaining like plus 80 science just from one campus, you know, by adding additional modifiers down the line, by running like rationalism, by getting uh, other things. So as you can see here, it gets pretty important when it comes to uh, adjacencies because those compound or those those bonuses start to compound pretty quickly. Um, and I'll, and as you can see here in some of these games that I'm showing, for example, this Kamai game right here, I'm getting a ton of science just from this one campus. Now, and you take this campus and you multiply it by all of the rest of the campuses that I have, or you add it with all the rest of the campuses in the game, I'm getting a stupid amount of science just from my adjacencies. So another thing we'll talk about is wonders and wonder priority. There are a couple wonders that you'll probably, well, not probably, more than likely need to get in your science games. And this is talking about on deity. Um, and, you know, it might be more applicable also to as emperor and immortal as well. Um, because obviously below that, you're more than likely going to get every wonder that you want. Uh, but talking about deity, there are only some wonders that you'll be able to get because the AI are going to get them before like turn 50. Uh, and the first one on the list is going to be Oracle. Uh, Oracle is pretty huge. What Oracle does is it gives you um, a lot of great point, uh, great people point generation. Uh, so it gives you um, plus two great person points of their type, whether they be great writers, uh, scientists, etc. Um, and that's pretty important because in the science game, you're more than likely going to be going Pingala first and maximizing Pingala for the most of the game, at least until you get to Space Initiative. And one of Pingala's uh, abilities is grants where it gives you a plus 100% great people points generated per turn in the city uh, Great people are something that we're going to talk about a little bit later uh, But that's why Oracle is pretty huge because some of the great people that you will need for example one of the first ones I mean you don't need Hypatia, but Library is giving you plus one science uh, so if you have um, You know uh, Pinkala assigned as well as Oracle you're gonna be gaining a lot more great scientist points than generally the AI will at that point so Oracle is a pretty high priority wonder. You can generally reliably get this now between turns 40 and 70. Um, there have been times where like I was just playing a Spain game the other game and an Oracle went at turn 35. So, you know, it just it really does depend. Uh, but this one is pretty reliable. You're able to get it pretty well. Um, another one that you absolutely need is Rur Valley. Uh, Rur Valley is a production wonder and it's going to help you churn out the space projects very fast. So Rear Valley gives you plus 20% pro production in the city. It also gives you plus one production for each mind and quarry in the city. Uh, the caveat with uh, with Rear Valley is that it needs to be built next to an IZ next to a river. So you have to build a uh, an industrial zone, which is whoops, whoops, wrong button, which is what we have right here. So we have an IZ right here and it's next to a river. So this is where we have Rear Valley. Rear Valley is pinned right here. Uh, and as I had mentioned before, River Valley gives you extra production and extra production for each mine and quarry in which my capital city right here, I have every single tile that's available uh, to be worked in the city. And I think this city has like 14 hills or something along those lines. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 mines in my capital that are being worked that are giving me extra production, which is, this isn't the highest production productive city I've ever had, but 211 production just in my capital alone, and Rear Valley is, is helping that. As you can see, the modifiers are adding up and making this a very productive city, which allows you to run the projects, especially the La Lagrange laser station and terrestrial laser station later in the game very quickly. Um, this is probably the second most important wonder in science victories, especially sub 200 ones. Uh, but yeah, this one is, you can usually get this one in, in your games. There are a couple other ones. I would say these two are probably the most important um, you don't have to get the other ones, uh, but they do help a lot. Um, the next ones are going to be Kilwa Kisawani, which we have right here. Kilwa Kisawani is probably one of my favorite wonders in the game. It's very underrated. Kilwa Kisawani gives you uh, bonuses from city-states. So as you can see here, when you're suzerain of a city-state, this city receives plus 15% bonus to the type provided by that city-state. And if you're suzed to two or more of that same type, you gain an additional 15%. So that means you are gaining... So if you are suzed with one city-state, like for example, a scientific city-state, you gain an additional 15% bonus from their science. And if you're suzed with two or more, you gain an additional 15%. So you are gaining 30 extra percent science from city-states just from having Kilwa Kisawani. That's pretty huge. <laughs> 
that's pretty huge. And if you have a ton of city states, that's going to stack up with your policy cards later on the game, such as social or sorry, such as uh, International Space Agency, which is going to give you a ton of science. Um, so that's probably another really important one as well uh, as Kawakasawani. And then I would say, um, actually, let me go back because uh, I, Kiwa is pretty important. You don't have to get it every single game, but it is pretty important. Uh, but I would say that another wonder that ranks up there with Rear Valley and Oracle is Mausoleum at Hall or Carnassus. Um, this isn't, this is mostly used by people for the tiles. Uh, Mausoleum gives you plus one science, faith, and culture on all coastal tiles for the city. Uh, as you can see here in this little screenshot, you can gain crazy yields in your coastal cities. But I mostly don't use that for science games. and science games, I use it for the second ability, which is great engineers having additional charges. Which means your great engineers that you want to use to build wonders with, which are, you know, for example, Emotep, uh, Isidore. Um, there's also Filippo Brunelleschi and Gustav Eiffel. They now gain an additional charge to build wonders, which means you can use a full great engineer to build an entire wonder. Uh, for example, I use Filippo Brunelleschi for Rear Valley in this game. Uh, I believe I used uh, Isidore for Kilwakasawani and then like two chops. Uh, so that's another really important one. So I'd say those four are probably the most important wonders that you need to get for a space race. Uh, uh, other good ones are pyramids. Pyramids are really hard to get in, on Deity, but pyramids are really important for the uh, builder charges, which we'll talk about later, as well as Colosseum is also really good for amenities and cities, which allow your cities to be productive as well as have additional housing. These two wonders are really hard to get on Deity, so I, I'm not saying they're super necessary, uh, but the other four um, are probably a lot more important than, uh, than, than any other ones that you can think of. And then r jumping right into that, uh, since I had mentioned it, we'll go into great people. We're just going to stay inside this same Kamai game because this was a crazy game. As you can see, I have 4,400 science <laughs> per turn. But with great people, uh, if you, you know, for example, having both Pingala as well as Oracle in this game, uh, there are some specific great people that you will need. I had mentioned Hypatia earlier. Uh, you don't necessarily need it because it's only giving you plus one extra science for your libraries. But I would say... Um, some specific great people are needed, especially in science games. For example, um, Isaac Newton is pretty needed. You can see Germany sniped that from me in this game. I was pretty salty about it <laughs> in my playthrough. Uh, if you haven't watched my Kamai games, go watch them here. Uh, I, I really enjoyed playing the Kamai. They're probably one of my new favorite civs, um, or at least the rework, I should say. Uh, but getting uh, great people such as Isaac Newton, uh, because you can see universities provide plus two extra science. So if you have, you know, universities each giving plus two extra science, that's like an additional 20 extra science just in like uh, just having universities. Um, additionally, the same thing goes for uh, Einstein, which if I can find it here. Here, um, Einstein is huge because research labs provide an additional four science. Uh, that's pretty huge because research labs already give you a crazy amount of science as it is. Um, and then when they're powered, having that additional science is just huge, just from a great person. So plus four extra science from all of your research labs. Um, those are probably the more important, uh, great scientist ones, because if you're trying to play on DD and you're trying to sub 200 them, you don't necessarily need, uh, great scientists such as like Carl Sagan or, or the, the, the future era ones who are going to give you, you know, um, production and immediate production towards space race projects, because you should be winning the game before that. Um, and then, as I had mentioned before with the uh, the engineers, um, as you can see here, we have a lot of great engineer points per turn. Um, <laughs> 390 sets because I was built, as you can see, I'm building <laughs> campus research grants in all my cities. Um, but uh, but with this the great engineers, you'll, you'll definitely need to get some in order to get wonders. So as you can see, we grabbed Emotep here. I believe I used Emotep to get uh, Colosseum. We also got Isidore, grants 215 production towards wonders. Um, getting Filippo Brunelleschi, which I think I also got as well. Uh, so yeah, you can see Filippo Brunelleschi. I use that for Rear Valley. Uh, another one that actually I feel like people kind of skip over is Leonardo da Vinci, where if you're going space race, you are going to be building a decent amount of uh, industrial zones. And Leonardo da Vinci gives you plus three culture from workshops. And if you have, the important thing about that, it would switch, if you don't know, having Mausoleum at Hall or Carnassus, you know, gives you the extra engineer charge. That means that... Um, that means that uh, that Leonardo da Vinci has two charges, which means you can get plus six extra culture from your workshops, which means if you look here, I have one, two, three, four, 
uh, five. I think I only have five, maybe six, six, seven. So I have seven, eight, I have eight industrial zones. So I have eight industrial zones, which means each of them are getting six extra culture. Uh, so I'm getting a little bit extra culture there just from having Leonardo da Vinci, which is which is uh which is pretty great what is that 48 extra culture i can't math off the top of my head but yeah 48 extra culture just from just from having leonardo da vinci which is which is pretty neato um I, there aren't really any other great people that you need um some of them are pretty nice uh like having some of the great merchants being able to get additional trade routes um trade routes help once you get to policy cards uh but we'll, we'll talk about that later so the next thing we'll talk about which I guess I'll kind of talk about them in tandem is, uh, is, is policy cards and as well as city states. Um, policy cards are pretty huge uh, and are going to be affecting the game a little bit more than you realize. Um, that also coincides with city states. As I had mentioned earlier, using policy cards such as natural philosophy, uh, which eventually, you know, turns into a five year plan here, um, make your city or make your uh science games especially sub 200 ones go a lot faster now this is my uh one city challenge with portugal and as you can see here i have a thousand science per turn and if we go to my policy cards i'm gaining a thousand of that just from international space agency because of the amount of city states that i'm suzerained with if we take that out there are a lot of policy cards that affect your science so let, let's take this out so we're at 1064 let's go ahead and confirm our policies and you can look at that, we dropped down to 436 science, which is pretty... I mean, 436 off of one city is pretty damn good uh, at turn 218. And as you can see here, we're gaining a lot of, a lot of that science from uh, modifiers, from amenities. We're getting it from our, our campus, uh, 95 from our campus. So that, that does... You know, we still have a lot. But as you can see, you can see how much that policy card affected our science. Um, and, and there are some specific ones that you'll you'll definitely want to pay attention to through most of the game. Um, so the first one we had talked about earlier um, was natural philosophy. Now, as the game goes on, it turns into five year plan where you get 100 percent campus and industrial zone district adjacency bonuses. Natural philosophy is the one that is uh, in recorded history right here. That's probably going to be one of the first ones that you'll pop in that affects your science adjacency. Or, I mean, that is the first one that's going to be affecting your science adjacency. But the first card that you're going to be popping in that's going to be affecting your science yields. Um, and probably one of the most important ones for the for the early game. So popping that in uh, will, will help out by quite a bit. Additionally, there's rationalism, which I had mentioned before. Extra science from buildings in campuses, plus 50% if it's above 15 pop or higher. And additional 50% if it's at least plus 4 adjacency bonus. Now... This is a one city challenge, so as you can see, I'm not getting a lot of yields right here, so it's a little bit different. Now, going back to what I had mentioned before, there are a lot of policy cards that are going to be affecting the amount of science you get, and utilizing those well enough are going to allow you to just basically steamroll the AI. As I mentioned at the beginning, the most important one is probably International Space Agency. We were literally gaining over a thousand science per turn just by plugging that in. And as you can see, now we're back up to 1064 science because putting in international space agency plus five percent science for each city state that, that you're suzerained of this right here that's insane <laughs> look at that an extra thousand science we're getting 2600 science because or culture because we have kumasi in the game and all of the the, the cultural city states in the game that's why i talked about how uh policy cards as well as kilwa kisawani stacking is is super important because now our, our yields are insane just from having one city in all of these city states in the game now obviously you're not gonna have this what this game was a little set up so that i would have all of these city states in it because it's a one city challenge generally you're probably going to be playing with you know if you're playing on a standard map you only have 12 city states so you'll maybe have three to four scientific city states in that game not eight um and that that's okay you'll still end up getting quite a bit of yields off of that uh but but policy cards really can make or break your game and as you can see here uh, we're getting, you know, aluminum just from a, a policy card, getting uh, extra um, uh, envoys from sending those to city-states. It, it, the, the policy cards are pretty huge, and that also comes from city-states too, as I'd mentioned earlier. I guess this is part B of what we're talking about is city-states. City-states are massive, and there's a reason why I, in my city-state tier list a long time ago, I had called Geneva uh, an S-tier city-state because if you're sued, sued with them and you're not at war, you just gain 15% extra science, which is crazy. That's <laughs> 15% extra science just from being seized with them. Um, and 
if you don't know, there are also extra bonuses outside of the unique bonuses that you get from city states. Um, and the reason why uh, using um, International Space Agency alongside of Ki uh, Kilwakisawani being sued the city states is important once you get to plus six envoys. Because then you get plus three science in every research lab and chancery building. And if you have a Diplo quarter, which I, I do right here, you can see our chancery, or our research lab is we're at 29 total science just from our research lab. Let's go to our chancery. We're getting plus 21 extra science because we have envoys all the way to plus six in all of our scientific city states. So it's pretty crazy. Policy cards with city states are huge. There's also some city states like, for example, Hong Kong. Like I said, this game is a little bit different because I rigged it a little bit with having specific city states in my game. Uh, but Hong Kong gives you plus 20% production towards city projects. So what? how does it help you in the space race? City projects include launching the Earth satellite because it's a project, you know, um, launching the Mars colony, the exoplanet expedition, as well as the, the laser stations. You gain 20% production towards those projects if you're seized with Hong Kong. Um, you know, Kamasi gives you uh, plus two culture if you're trading with a city state, which we are. That's all of our trade routes are going to city states. So it, it gets pretty crazy as the as the time goes on. So that's why also it's worth mentioning city states uh, alongside the policy cards in this game. And the last thing I will talk about here is the I guess the end game, uh, which includes uh, projects as well as power. Um, now with this power is pretty important once you basically hit the coal era, once you once you need to get coal online. As you can see, all of my cities are fully powered here. Uh, and this is very important because once you get to the off-world missions, um, as long as your city is powered, once you're building the terrestrial laser station, uh, it's you gain extra plus one light year per turn, which as you can see, all of my cities are currently building the terrestrial laser station um, in all of my cities here. Now, I believe I had already won this game. I had, and as you can see, my cities or my exoplanet expedition is traveling 16 light years per turn. Now, if I did not have power in these cities now if these weren't powered even though i had built them they would i would lose the light year per turn and i would not be traveling that that fast um throughout the duration of this game and that's pretty important because you know say every you have all of these cities and and every single city finishes the terrestrial laser station but then all of a sudden they're all non-powered um that means you lose all of you're basically just losing your progress i mean obviously it, it like will go to wherever it finishes and stop there but it will no longer be moving at that light year per turn uh, so having your cities powered having your cities powered is, is pretty important uh, that also coincides with the buildings in here research labs are probably going to be giving you the most amount of science yields per city so as you can see you know this one is not finished um or no this, this one is oh that one's pillaged but this one has 45 science. This one's giving you 39. This one's giving me 39, 33, you know, 33, even in my smaller cities. And that's because all of these cities are powered. If they were not, they wouldn't be giving me that additional extra science. Um, and having your research labs online with power uh, and having them being powered is, is, is pretty important. Um, and now when it comes to the projects as well, uh, you can't really tell because I had already won this game, but, um, Prior to this, you will be wanting to build the, in your government plaza, the Royal Society and the reason, oh, it's not in this city. That's right. The Royal Society. And the reason why that is, is because the Royal Society allows you to provide bonus production to projects based off of their charges. Um, and so in this game, we were able to get, let's go ahead and buy, I'm going to buy a builder in here. We were able to get plus, oh, this is only plus five because I don't have, <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm not running. Uh, a specific policy card but we were able to get as you can see plus five builders um which end up actually ended up being plus seven if you throw in public works which gives you plus two builder charges because we have pyramids as well as liang liang giving you an extra builder charge so plus seven charge builders and the reason why that's important is because calling back to the Royal Society and being able to provide bonus production towards a district project you can use your builders to provide extra production, as you can see right here, add production to a project only once per city per turn. And you can use your builder charge production, this is a plus seven one as you can see here, to basically add an extra turn, sometimes fully one turn a city production. Now this one, it only gave us a little bit, that gave us 161 production here, but that still ends up helping because there are times where maybe you have one turn away and you can use 
a builder in the Royal Society, like here, for example, okay, it didn't finish it there, but um, you know, if it had a little bit extra production, it would have helped. You could see it's at 570 out of 600 uh, as well. Um, so using your builder charges to, with Royal Society, help out your uh, laser stations. You can also use it, you know, for basically any other project, you know, running the exoplanet expedition, running the Mars colony, uh, so on and so forth. Um, and that also goes into chopping as well. Uh, chopping is pretty important uh, for your running uh, running the, the projects here. Now, as you can see, all of my, we've basically used every single chop that we can, um, except for maybe in here. Uh, but what I mean by chopping is chopping out features that give you production, for example, chopping out woods, uh, rainforest, quarries, things along those lines, to give production to chop out all of my chopping out projects to basically finish multiple laser stations within the same exact turn. Uh, and I do that a bunch, and that allows me to get up to like plus eight, plus 10 um, light years per turn within the first two turns, which means you can basically just win the space race off of uh four turns once you once you research the off-world mission uh so combining that with the royal society and as well as having all your buildings powered kind of makes your games go really fast and, and allows you to win the space race uh basically a couple turns after you research the the off-world mission okay so i hope that helped everybody i know those were some kind of quick tips uh, but I hoped that helped with everybody, uh, or hoped that helped everybody understanding how to how to win science victories very fast. As you can see in those games, I had some pretty ridiculous yields, and that's because I utilized basically everything I talked about and put it all together. Now, there's a lot of luck that comes along to it, you know, as well. But m the majority of the time, you can win uh, under 200 turns or a little bit over 200. Um, even in my uh, OCC space race game that I showed earlier, I won that at turn 218. Uh, that's also because Portugal is ridiculous. <laughs> so, uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, once again, if you guys, uh, don't follow me on Twitch, go to twitch.tv slash Bostheus. Um, that is where I stream every Wednesday through Saturday, 12 p.m. Pacific time, uh, streaming Civilization 6, and then sometimes I stream City Skylines, uh, and some other games in the future. Um, also, like I said, I have a Twitter and a Discord if you'd like to hang out there. Um, there's about a thousand people in my Discord right now, which is bonkers. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I will be putting out some more tutorial videos soon, as well as more edited gameplays as we're getting, as I'm getting back into the swing of things of, of being full-time in content creation again. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one.